An exclusive interview with Uber CEO, his name is Dara Kasvashahi. Now, the company announced several updates and new features just yesterday. They include rides that are tailored specifically for teenagers, okay, and the option for a car seat if you're traveling with a younger child, love that. There's also a new group grocery feature that's good for splitting the bill. You're going to like this, too. And for the less tech-savvy of you out there in the audience, you can call to order your ride. Call on the phone. Call on the phone. Okay. Yep, call on the phone. Derek Kosvashahi joins us at the table. Good to see you, Mr. Badass. Great a lot to of these be here. Things, Great a lot to of these here. changes are very exciting. What are you most excited about? I personally am most excited about the Uber teen Teens. accounts for parents. I'm a, I've got four kids. Yes. And sometimes on the weekend, I'm spending more time driving them around than parenting them. Yes. Yeah. So this is an account that parents can create for their teens. They can invite teens to the account. And it's got safety built in Look at from the start to the finish. You Only your best track drivers. Them, can't you, Dara? Oh yeah, you, yeah, you, you do track, track them. them. Okay. It's, it's it's built into the feature. So best first of all, drivers. we get we get the best drivers who are the most experienced, who have the best ratings. Um, at the beginning of the ride, there's a pin code that the teen has and the driver has. They've got a match so that you make sure you're in the right car. This the is good. Uh, no, this is same same price. Absolutely, it's on your credit card, so you've got to pay for your teen. Yeah, you know, that's that's uh, part yes. of the deal. There's an audio uh, then, recording feature. Yeah. So what happens is you track the ride, so you can see the pickup drop off, and there's an audio recording feature that is totally private. It's encrypted. It's on the phone. But if something happens, oh. and the driver and the teen knows that you know if something happens, that there's going to be an audio recording, that lessens the chance of anything. Bad this happening. is so good. And what about I heard of a, a feature for grandparents? Do grandparents need a special feature? You I was know, like, wait if, a second, Dara. If, if they want a special feature, there are Which some grandparents fun. who are very comfortable, you know, using apps, etc. But yeah. there are some grandparents they're, they're less comfortable using smartphones or like using who? apps on smartphones. You know smartphones. anybody like that? You know, my mother-in-law <laughs> might be such a grandparent, <laughs> what and so yeah. I'm I'm her Uber dispatcher. Myself <laughs> and my wife sit are the Uber dispatchers. <laughs> she'll call you. And she'll, say she'll call me, and you know, we'll get an Uber for. <laughs> Her and <laughs> you get an Uber for yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm the dispatcher, so now you can call one eight three three use Uber, I think and you can either idea. get on demand or it can be a reservation as well. We have a reserve feature, so you can get an Uber if you're going to an airport or going to dinner, I like this. and you can call someone and we'll make it happen. Can for I do you. that as a non grandparent just for a retro feel? You know, if you're feeling in the 80s, yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. I'm if you want to go back in time, you can do it too. Uh, not wanting to go back in time to a time of high inflation like we have mm. now, but yes. it's been happening. People are worried about the cost of everyday items. They're worried about the economy. And one thing that could completely topple the economy are, is the debt ceiling fiasco going on right now in Washington. Any advice right now for our leaders in D.C. about getting a deal done? Get together, have real conversations in, instead of trying to play politics because this is serious. This affects everyone's lives. It's not time to play politics. It's time to get it done. Are you worried about re uh, a recession? Uh, I'm, I wouldn't say worried. It's going to happen, I think, based on everything that we see. But we're hoping that it will be quick uh, and it won't be too tough. Uh, and in the meantime, as Uber, we're going to do what we're doing, which is get you transportation, get you to places, get you food, get you what yeah. you mean. What you okay, mean. from uh, inflation to tipflation, ah. um, a lot of drivers rely on tips. And just for clarity, 100% uh, of the tips go to the drivers. 100% go to the drivers. 100%. Uh, but a, min a minority only. Uh, tip. I, I, we found that kind of strange. I always tip. We thought I majority tip yeah, was an option. Do. You're, you're, you're the majority that, that we love. So when you're, when people are ordering food, part of the habits is you tip. So the majority yes. of food orders uh, tip. Uh, on rides, the minority tip. But but I'll tell you, I've been driving myself as a Uber driver, yeah. and I've gotten a couple of cash tips. So we track tips that go through the app. 100% so cash goes. Cash tips are okay. Cash chips are okay. Well, have you considered yeah, increasing the wages for your drivers because they are relying so much on tips that they might not get? So drivers generally, driver earnings now, if you look at the last quarter, we paid out to drivers over $13 billion. Mm. It was up 30% year on year. Mm. And drivers on average in the U.S. make 33 bucks an hour, uh, utilized hour, when they're being called, uh, driving to pick you up or, or, or carrying you. So the earnings are actually 
quite good yeah. uh, compared to history. You know, I think it's hard, Dara, because in the beginning, we didn't have to tip. That was one of the attractions yes. of Uber. You just get out of the car. So I think when you're used to getting something, it's hard to make... The... In the beginning, I didn't tip either. I was right. like, well, no, we're... Da, da, da. You're like, I'm going to give re... you a star. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'll give you a tip. star. Yeah. But then I realized that actually didn't feel so good after you realize how it works. I think but... the culture is changing. You, you can yes. put in your tip up front so that it's just as easy and you can yeah. adjust it. You know, if the driver was excellent, yeah. you can tip more. What was if your you driver the, rating, by the way? My driver rating is still five stars and I'm oh, hoping to keep oh, it that oh. way. You know, I'm, but you're I'm saying nice. If the driver is you know. excellent, a, a five yes, star. Yes, if the yeah. driver does a great job, then uh, you can express that on a tip and we think that's just great. I wonder and the people that gave you a five, did they know you were Dara? Uh, I, wear, I wear a mask. Oh, you so do? So I'm, <laughs> I'm not doing it to get recognized. I'm okay. just doing it to provide a service. A okay. mask, all right. <laughs> Uh, any plans for integrating uh, AI into... Oh, that's a good question. Oh, definitely. Oh. So AI has been a big part of our services. You know, the ETA that you get, six yes. minutes, five minutes, That's that. those are learning algorithms that are estimating those times. Uh, the choices we show you, whether it's a, we got taxi in New York or Uber Black or are you an Uber X kind of a person, all of that is determined by AI. Mm. Now, there's this new generation of AI coming, this generative AI that's much more complex and I think in a funny way, AI is going to allow Uber to be more human in our interactions with you. All of the communications are going to be much more personalized. Yeah. Right now, the communications are standard, and then, you know, we'll put in a price there, et cetera. There's, right. a, there's a bit of personalization. The next generation of AI is going to, is going to create a personal relationship between Uber and well, you. Well, let's make sure that we, we develop a personal relationship that they don't cancel on you. No, no. It's so frustrating <laughs> to order the car yes. and two minutes out and then it's gone. It's a what very... What can we do about that, Dara? Well, what, what we've done is cancellations were much, were much higher Pardon? in the past when drivers didn't know where you were going. Uh. And the number one feature that drivers ask us for is, hey, what's the upfront destination? They should know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize uh, they didn't know that. Now, in yeah. New York City... That's limited because of the laws regarding fares in New York City. So in New York City, we haven't been able to quite um, extend that to drivers. Mm. But in the rest of the U.S., where we can, we okay. show them up from destinations. That's the most common reason for a cancellation. Yeah. It's a destination that, that they didn't want to go to. Okay. So we're fixing that wherever we can. Okay. Well, we appreciate Is there anything else by. we can help you with? Uh, keep taking Uber. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt about it. Thank you so much for making the trip. You Good get five stars you. on this visit, by the way. Yeah. Well, I thank and I'm digging, you. I'm digging that uh, Uber black sweater right there. I know there. you like <laughs> cash. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my thank wallet. Thank you so much.